according to Google, Zurich is the most expensive city in the world. So I wanted to pop along and see how expensive things really are and how possible it is for a box standard bloke to live here for 24 hours. Can I find fun here for free? Or does the best stuff have the biggest price tag? Right, we're in Switzerland, the home of cheese, chocolate and money laundering. Currently in Geneva, heading towards Zurich and I need to go get a train, which I've missed. A return ticket cost me £120, which already demonstrates how expensive this place is. So it's going to be another 50, 60 quid on top of what I've already paid. And just to make things easier, it's snowing and everything's in a different language. Yes, that's another £97 down the drain there for a single ticket to Zurich. I'm starting to think I should have just flown to Zurich, that would have been probably cheaper. Anyway, let's go have some food, I'm hungry. See how much this costs. Okay, just got myself some food, got myself a sandwich. Don't really know what sandwich I put a pointer to, just pointed to a sandwich. And I also got myself a pan of chocolate and the water. It came to about, I think, 15 Swiss francs, which is about 14 pounds basically, for a sandwich, a pan of chocolate, and a drink. A little bit on the pricier side, not horrific yet. Let's see what this is. I'm sensing ham, I'm sensing some sort of creamy sauce and bread. Basically, ham sandwich, I think. Right, I'm just about to get on the train and head to Zurich, hopefully. Hoping for some nice views it's three hours on this train send me through some hills some little mountains be annoyed if it's like just a, a tip i've absolutely no idea if we're on the right train or not i can't see zurich anywhere on the list i was expecting the train to be a little bit flashier given how rich this country is supposed to be and expensive everything is it's well old even the ones in the uk are newer than this well I'm definitely in switzerland we're moving train to well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think he might have just said you've got to get a connecting train to Zurich. Not according to this, I don't. Okay, so I found out we are on the right train, but apparently you have to change as um, Luzana, I think, is what they said. And that's about 15, 20 minutes. So I think I'm on the right train. I've just gone on the second one. This is one of these double-decker trains. First time I've ever been on one of these before. Right, I'm finally here in Zurich after a three-hour train. Some incredible views on the train, uh, most of which weren't on my side, they're on the opposite side, which is typical. Hopefully on the way back I get to see them. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm completely lost. I don't really know what's going on. I'm really out of charge of my phone because I found out I don't have the right adapter. Switzerland's got a different adapter. Anyway, we're having fun. Managed to escape. Got myself an adapter. I think it's going to work. That set me back 30 Swiss francs, 28 quid. I need to sit down and rest now. Right, I'm in Mackey's. That was stressful. Just got myself, got myself chips, big tasty burger, water, muck flurry, 20 quid. I'm sweating. I'm just sweating through everything. I need a chip. The issue is none of the signs are in English here. Whereas sometimes when you're in France or in Italy or whatever, you can at least recognise some of the words. I don't recognise any of the words here. It's almost like it's a completely different language. I've read somewhere that the average McDonald's employee in Switzerland earns the equivalent of £50,000 a year. I don't know if that's a load of nonsense. I'm sure someone will correct me. That just seems mental. Is everyone just going around in like BMWs and stuff there? I'm not as mental. Right, just finished up in Mackey's. What is it about continental Europe where everyone's just necking off with each other in public? What, what's going on? In there, right, two couples, not even that young, necking off with each other, two different couples. Everyone's canoodling for some reason, like, just happy Mackey's. Instead, they're eating each other's tongues. I came out of the toilet a second ago, walked past one of them, and she made direct eye contact with me whilst getting off with her partner. Oh, like, behind over his shoulder. I'm like, aren't you supposed to be in the middle of getting with your boyfriend here? Why are you looking at this? That sounds like a made-up story. It wasn't. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to the hostel now. I was originally going to have a look around, but we've arrived here later than I expected initially, and I'm not in a great mood, to be honest with you, because basically being here five hours, I'm, they're basically bankrupt to me already. So yeah, let's just go to the hostel, call it quits for the day, try and get a good night's sleep. I hope tomorrow's a bit better. <laughs> now where's this damn hostel? Well, doesn't that look lovely? Got no idea what it is, but we'll probably end up going to it in the daytime tomorrow. My hostel's supposed to be just down here. Hope that's not going to keep me up all night. What's going on up there then? Ding dong. Get me in there. No, hostel, yeah, hostel, hostel. Uh, I don't know why, but I always get a bit nervous before going to hostel. I'm just not a very sociable person. But I also don't have 200 pounds a night to spend on a hotel room. So here we are. There it is. I guess we just pop in. Too much culture for me, is that? 
a surge and a goat. Right, it's the next morning here in Zurich. Oh, we've made it to the night. Uh, I was not in a good mood last night. You might have realised having to pay 100 quid for a single train ticket. I was expecting maybe at worst to pay 60. Ended up paying 100. Then I had to pay 30 quid for an adapter. And amongst that we paid 15 quid for a pan of chocolate, a sandwich and a, and a water. And then we're going to have our dinner at McDonald's. A cheap place, a cheap establishment. 20 quid. Turns out this place is expensive. <laughs> it's almost like that was all point we come in here. And then obviously at the end of all that, I ended up getting into the hostel and it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. I mean, it's okay, like I'll be fine. But just after a long day, I was hoping for a bit of privacy, and maybe like a better bed set up. Last night I slept next to my trousers. No one's ever slept next to the trousers before. I don't even know what that means, aside from the fact that my trousers were right next to my face as I was sleeping. So yeah, it's, it's been an interesting start to this trip. We've got lots to do today, uh, to be honest. We do have a lot to do, lots to see, and uh, hopefully end up in a situation where we're not bankrupt, hopefully. Anyway, we are gonna head into Joe and the Juice for some breakfast, which will no doubt cost me an arm and a leg. Okay, just got my breakfast. Uh, got myself a juice and a turkey sandwich. About 22, 23 pounds. For a sandwich and a drink. Better tastes good, I don't know what, what it is. And that's just basically a panini. 23 quid. Bearing in mind the average salary here in Zurich is 90 grand a year. That's in pounds. So obviously the cost of living is much higher, hence why it's the most expensive place in the world. Right. But I wasn't expecting 23 quid. It's nice and all fairness. I mean, that's breakfast, how much is lunch gonna be? Right, I've been fleeced by uh, Joe and his juice. 23 quid for a drink and a sandwich. I just can't believe it. <laughs> and as a retaliation, uh, I decided to use the toilet there. And uh, you know what I did, you know what I did. But, you know, gotta get your money's worth, haven't you? You gotta get your money's worth. Nice toilets, until I was in there. Already finding this beautiful building, a statue in front of it. Got no idea exactly what the statue is. Let's go find out. Some big bloke with a sword, that kind of vibe. Ultrich Zivingl, Zwingli. Shout out to whoever that guy is, shout out to him. Unless obviously he was a murderer and a psychopath and a slave owner, in which case, you know, then I don't like him. Hopefully he wasn't. I mean, just look at this. Calmness on the water this morning. Lovely spire, bridge, and another one. You know I'm a fan of a bridge. I bloody love a bridge. I get the feeling that I'm gonna like this place, particularly after a, you know, a slow start and them, you know, rinsing me of money. I do get the feeling I'm gonna like this place. I always said I wanted to come to Switzerland. It's always been on the list. I mean, I'm only here because there was a 40 quid flight here, to be honest, return flight. Whereas, you know, you, you realize that when you turn up here, that's, you know, 40 quid's a sandwich in some places. So um, that's a bit annoying. They lured me in with a cheap flight. I'm now facing the consequences. So here it is then, this big massive building I walked past last night in the dark. Look at that, in person. It's a big one, it's a big boy is that. Yeah, another church isn't it? Another church. It's good, it's good, it's, it's not Italy but it's good. Decent stone, looks like a solid foundation. Looks quite new, maybe I'm just making stuff up, I don't know, it looks quite new that. That rockage, looks quite new. Could be 2010 for all I know, I don't know actually. Maybe it's just the rock of the views, I don't know. It's timeless. It's just great isn't it? It's just great. A bit noisy but great. My main criticism aside from the prices is the language. We need to sort this out. We need to because no, none of the signposts are English here, which is an issue, okay? And then you've got some people speaking French, some people speaking German. Let's just pick all language, preferably English, and let's just crack on with that. So it turns out this here is called Freud Munster Church, I think is how you pronounce it. Something along those lines anyway. It's an evangelical church. I mean, all churches are just churches. I don't know what, what an evangelical, what's the difference to evangelical? Is it a different religion or something? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, it's a, it's a big church with a, a crypt. I'm just saying words, I've seen on Google now. You can assemble them into an actual sentence yourself. But it looks good, it looks really good. I'm very impressed with that clock. I've done a cracking job with that, whoever's done that. It's a big clock. I mean, yeah, this is very Swiss, isn't it? This is very Swiss. I've never been on a skiing holiday, but uh, this is how I imagine it would look. I mean, look at that. Aside from this, I mean, I'm not quite sure what the random chairs are doing here. I don't know. But have a seat. Why not? Crack on. I mean, of course, I've not been on a skiing holiday because I'm not absolutely mental. I don't know why people do it. I don't get it. Let's fly down a mountain on something specifically designed to be slippy. Well, I'll go for a walk. Fancy getting brain damage? Nah. 
Anyway, we're going to head off to the FIFA Museum. Very exciting stuff. Let's see how much that costs to get in. Although, having said that, it's FIFA, so you might not need to give them money. You just, just bribe them and otherwise. There she is, the FIFA Museum. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a museum about football and stuff, I don't know. Let's go see if it's open. Let's go see how much it is. I mean, by the standards so far, it's probably about 50 quid. Hats on now. Cold. It's cost me 26 Swiss francs to get in, which I think is about 24 quid for a museum, which is, is a lot. Okay, so here is the changing room, which is basically where you've got to put your bag and your coat. As you can see, it's got all different names on the lockers in the Esther. Abamiam, not really the same. Put it South Ronaldinho, who to be fair is my favourite player of all time. So mine's my stuff's in there. I've noticed they got Beckham in here. He's the only English player. But then they've also got Wilson Palacios. So it's kind of debatable the sort of level of this. Anyway, let's go to the museum. Well this is pretty cool. You can see where all the money gets spent, can't you? It's me, that's kind of weird to see. Yeah. There it is. My we second nation that I support. Wall of Champions. There we are. Roger Hunt, Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst. Just one signature. <laughs> to be fair, I think all our team are now dead, aren't they? So it's, it's probably why there's only one. Okay, so apparently I've got to dance like Hamas Rodriguez. Okay, yes. I'm... Oh no, not quite sure I've got that in my locker. I'm now about to play some sort of football game that you've got to play, I think. I don't think I've any choice or not, but you've just got to whack footballs flying everywhere. Okay, so you've got to go around and do six different things, basically, and then you get your points at the end. You all get assigned a name. Mine's Wilson Palacios. How's the control? Okay. That's, that's not a great start. Ooh, I lost one. <laughs> Thank you. Somehow. Got like 200,000 points or something, whatever, do you know what I mean? Right, so I just left the FIFA Museum. I was in there for two hours. <laughs> Got my money's worth, that's the most important thing. Now I need some lunch, I need fading. Just finished up inside Starbucks, decided to go there. And uh, yeah, it cost me 24 fresh francs, which is about 23 quid, something like that. So it cost marginally more than the McDonald's did. Sandwich, cookie, yogurt, and a drink. 23 quid, what a bargain. In this country, it is genuinely a bargain. Anyway, gotta head on further to have a little walk, see, see some more scenery, and uh, we're just gonna keep walking around. And I, I wanna sort of answer the question like, is the free stuff to do here better than the paid stuff? That's kind of what I wanna know. Like, do you need to go and like spend a lot of money here, or can you just go? Yeah, good view. Because I mean, the FIFA Museum was good. There was no doubt about that, it was decent. Just found myself a statue, you know, like a statue. Some kid, I don't know, feeding a bird with his uh, meat and tea veg out. Does he need to be nude while feeding a bird? Oh, I've never fed a bird nude. Fair enough, I guess. Makes me feel good about myself anyway. Found another one, another one that's messing around with an animal, this time a bull. Once again, you know, it makes you feel good as a guy. I can tell you that much. Hang on a second. Jesus. See them? Oh my word. Do so you see the danglage on that? Unbelievable. That is fair play. There it is. This is supposed to be St. Peter's Church, this. A Protestant church, I think is what they call it. Again, you might know the difference, I certainly don't. To me, they're all just churches and will make a lot of sounds. There's just so many of them. There you go, church. Look at this. Look at this building here, Oppenhausen. Uh, I think it's an opera house. An incredible building, just casually plonked there, like it's nothing. Lovely open square, Christmas tree. Bad luck to still have that up. Come on, we're in January now. It's beautiful, it's just lovely. No idea what instrument she's playing. Is she eyeing me up? Is she making eye contact? I think she is. Right, why has she got them out? Just unnecessary, just cover up like her. Right, I'm sure she's looking this way as well. This is weird. That mask's a bit freaky. Not sure what you're doing there, Tiger. Is the, is the tiger giving me the side eye? It's a lovely building, I look at it. Just look. Just use your eyes and look, if you've got them. 
If you don't, then just imagine. Well, you can't, can you? If you don't have eyes, you can't even imagine it because you've not you've not seen a building like this before. Where do you even start? I, blindness would be the worst. I, I always think this because you don't even know like what a colour is. God, that would be terrible. God, that's heavy. That's heavy. Back to the building. Is that a way, Days? I keep seeing this big, beautiful building from ages away across the river. I've finally gone up to see it. Just thought I'd check on the map to see what it was. You know, with the big flags at the top. It looked something important, maybe a government building or something like that was what I was thinking. Just check the maps, right? You will not believe it. That's a plastic surgeon. That's a boob doctor. Swear to God, it says on, it says on Google Maps, my breast is what it's labelled as. I guess they've got a lot of money in this place, haven't they? So that's probably why it's in a fancy building. Fair play. Okay, we've arrived at the Chinese Gardens. We're going to go inside there right now before it closes. I mean, I imagine its gardens were sort of done in like a, a Chinese way. But let's see, let's see, it might not be. We might get there and it might end up being German. I mean, it's winter, so what's going to be in the garden? It's all going to be dead. Look at this for an entrance. Lovely entrance. <gasps> well, well, well. Basically in China. Well, isn't this lovely? It's a bit different, not quite sure why it's here, but fair enough. Yeah, that's a good shot. That's a good shot. Tell me it's a good shot. Go on. Look, we've got some fish in here, look. I mean, these look exactly the same as the ones my grandpa used to have in his pond. Maybe they were Chinese, I don't know. I mean, this is the gardens. Yeah, that's what we're working with. I assume the garden element is largely the pond, because there's not any, like, flowers or anything this winter. Ah, I was expecting a bit more from the Chinese gardens, I've got to be honest, I've just walked 25 minutes to go see it, and it was tiny. Guess we head back and go get some food then? Yep, okay. At least it was free though. That's the thing in Switzerland, you don't get many things for free, and when you do, they look like that. I'm a bit gutted really, because I've run out of time. I wanted to go to the Museum of Diseased Body Parts today, but unfortunately, just got so you know, snowed under with other stuff that I'm just not going to have time. It's like a 40 minute walk away. It closes soon. We could have, you know, spent a good 45 minutes to an hour looking at various disease body parts and unfortunately we don't have time. We have to go straight for food. I mean, that would have put me off my food, I think. It's not a turn on, doesn't get you going, does it? Not like that, but definitely not like that. I meant food wise. And I'm actually going to go to a proper restaurant this time. We're not going to go to Mackey's. Yes, it's next door to the hostel, but that's that's beside the point. <laughs> we are going to get some authentic Switzerland Swiss cuisine down us. Yes, I'm going to Shiso Burger. They do say go big or go home. I'm doing both actually. I'm going home tomorrow, but I am going big before I go. Um, it's a burger place, authentic Swiss food. Probably, I don't actually know, but I'm going to go there. I guess let's pop in have a burger. But I think it's kind of got like an Asian twist on it. Let's see. It's got to be one of the best burgers I've ever had. Cooked to perfection. Chips were just how I like them. Very good. Right, okay, just finished up in there. Really, really impressed. One, one of the best burgers I've probably ever had, I'd say. Uh, it cost about like 28 Swiss francs. Now I think 28 Swiss francs is about 26, 27 pounds for a burger, some fries, and a water. It was really nice, like it was sort of pink in the middle. A bit of pink in the middle, so it was cooked in a way which meant it was soft, juicy, flavourful. So yeah, very pleased with it. The best meal I've had since I got here. Which isn't really saying much considering the other one I had was a McDonald's. So it was improvement on that. One thing I did notice is there was no knives and forks. So it was either you use chopsticks or your hand. So naturally I went with the hands, which wasn't a huge fan of, but you're not going to eat a burger with chopsticks, are you? So that was the only other way of eating it. Nearly went for the dessert, but I've decided I'm going to go get a dessert somewhere else. So I'm off now. I saw it when I was walking around earlier, so I'm going to go get dessert and I'll show you what I'm going to have. Yes, I'm going for some Dunkin' Donuts. Let's get it. Okay, here it is. I've got myself a um, caramel chai latte. Never had one of these before. I didn't expect it to look like this. There's, there was a much nicer picture on the on the side. I thought it looked like with sort of like cream on top. It's, it's, it looks like this. I never had one before, but I don't know. Not my kind of thing. There's me trying to be all cultured. That's my worst nightmare in a cup. Now that is what we're talking about. Rocky Road Donut, that'll do. Not really getting the Rocky Road coming through. It's more like Smarties with a dusting of chocolate. It's 
such a donut with four smarties on. A disaster. Cost me 10 quid this. Right, okay, it's the next day. It's day three, my final day here in Zurich. Oh, what a night I just had. One of the guys in the room snoring his head off, he was. Honestly, it's like he's starting off an engine or something. I couldn't believe it. I mean, uh, it's just not the greatest night's sleep. Probably woke up like five or six times. Honestly, he sucked all the air out. I thought I we was going to start suffocating. It was ridiculous. Anyway, final day now, and I've just checked out. Look, it has been a good trip. I've enjoyed my time here in Zurich, in Switzerland in general. It has been a good time after a bumpy start. Yes, it's expensive. I mean, I look back at 100 quid for a single train ticket. I look to them, 20 quid McDonald's. I think about the fact that, yeah, Starbucks, 24 quid. I bought a fridge magnet, right? A fridge magnet, a little souvenir fridge magnet. Yay big. 10 quid. Bought a bottle of water last night. Three quid. There is a reason why it is ranked as joint top in the world's most expensive cities. I probably didn't even need to come here to tell you that, so have I wasted my money? Yeah. But also there are lots of great things you can do for free. You can go see the sites, the churches, the cathedrals, you can go to the parks. There are things you can do for free. You don't just have to spend money here. The sites, scenery, Architecture, that's all free in life, folks. It's starting to tear up a little bit now. It's been an emotional, an emotional trip. Goodbye, Zurich. Is that too much, do you reckon, for an outro? Yeah, it's expensive here. Bye.